Steve, uh, in my opinion, I thoroughly deserve three points, but they did make us work hard for them, didn't they? Yeah, they put their bodies on the line. Um, stopped a couple of chances going in, especially towards the end. Yeah. Very pleased with the boys, Jim. Mm. You know, um, so I'm not going to just run. I won't change my sacking. Uh, I thought they'd done what we asked them to do in the first half: move the ball. Um, when you move teams about, you find gaps. And last week we didn't do it. Mm. But this week we've done it, uh, started to find gaps, got a couple of half chances first half, and in the second half I thought well worthy of our three points. Definitely. I got the sense that they might have come here for a point, or at least held out as long as they could, the way they were set up, and then maybe try and nick something right at the end, but it didn't quite work for them, did it? No. We didn't, no. We didn't make it work for them. Well, I thought we were more solid in midfield today. Um, last week, and previous home games, we've been chasing things that we don't need to. Um, and like I said, away from home, we've been solid, uh, got ourselves in front, and then teams have had to come at you. Yeah. And I think yeah, the home team are expected to go on the front foot. Um, if we just keep the ball, we might not be penetrating them, but keeping the ball works them, then you've got to find the holes and then you'll create your chances. So we've done that today, first half and second half, and very pleased with the outcome. Definitely. Uh, but obviously frustrating once you get in front to go behind, what, two minutes later? <laughs> yes, it is. But if you look at it, um, two of the goals from Bishop Salford last week, were looking looking back on it, were great strikes. Mm. And you stick free keepers in, they might not save it. Mm. And the one today, you know, is it the free kick? We've defended it, the wall, mm. defended it properly. Mm. Mm. It's come back out to him. Is it, is it an amazing strike mm. on the volley? Mm. Uh, was it in or not before uh, they tapped in? We're not sure. Was they offside? Yeah. No one's sure, but it's given. Yeah. But you, sometimes you can't stop things like that. Mm. And that strike was unbelievable, especially oh. when it came back to him, his reaction yeah. just to hit it first time. Mm. Um, mm. So you look at three goals we've conceded in the last two games, um, are, are top draw goals. Yeah. And you can't do nothing about it. Mm. You know, mm. Joe Turner's goal what, broke Very through good. a couple of tackles and a great strike. Excellent. Might be disappointed that it got done at the near post, or whatever, but the, the power of the strike mm. took it past the keeper. Sometimes you've just got to take your hat off and tip it towards the people that have just scored the goal. So, yeah. disappointing straight away to concede, mm. um, but showed the uh, strength and character of the boys, kept doing what we wanted them to do, and it was about patience today. And, and we, we kept the patience, and, and we got our deserved win at the end of it, I believe. And again, some, some great performances out there. I mean, young Adam again is, is I won't say proving it's wrong because we didn't have doubts about him, but he's, but he's actually seems to be getting a better player all the time, doesn't he? He's listening and learning. Um, he wants to learn, which is a ma major factor in football. And also with him, his uh, confidence. Yeah. And I think when he first came into the side, I don't think he believed he deserved to be in the side. Um, but he's in the squad on merit. Uh, he's in the team on merit. And like I say, small, he's come on and showed you what he can do. Mm -hmm. But at the moment, mm -hmm. it's hard to get him in mm -hmm. because the two wide players are doing well. Yeah. And um, small, he understands that. But yeah. back to Adam, I think he's been tremendous and he's getting from strength to strength. Yeah. And uh, I thought Tommy had a great game as well, coming in for Tommy Whitnell, that is, coming in for, 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 for Craig, basically. Yeah, yeah well, we had to change it about again because yeah. um, Stoney failed a fitness test this morning. Um, but we know Wits can play that role. Um, and I thought it was an opportunity to put Jack into a, a, a more advanced role. Mm -hmm. And I thought he'd done well. Yeah, yeah. You know, yeah, it's, that's yeah. his first game, well, first 60 minutes mm. for, for most of the season, or if, oh, really? if he has played at all. So okay. yeah. he was pleased to get out there and play. Yeah. He was tired when he came off. Mm. Um, but he's coming to play minutes, um, whether that's from the start or from the bench. Uh, we promise that and we'll give him minutes and then it's up to him what he does when he's on that pitch and I thought we'd done well today. Yeah, no, definitely. No, it was a, it was a really, I thought it was a good all-round performance actually by the, by the team today and, and uh, they completely deserved the three points and, you know, if Potters Bar had have nicked something at the end it would have been a little bit unfair. Similar it is to what we said about if we equalised against Bishop Stortford, you know, you have to yeah. give credit where credit's due and of I thought the credit belonged to us today. Well, that's nice you to say because, like I say, the boys in there, they're, they're tired. They've had to work hard for that. Yeah. Just to make no bones about it. Mm, uh, yeah, Potters yeah. Bath put a lot of hard work in. You know, they're, mm. they're centre half. The amount of shots he blocked, three or mm. four of them, he was outstanding for them, yeah. I thought. Yeah. Um, you can see why they started quite yeah. well. And then yeah. they, they probed and probed. And mm. they, they, we knew that if it still stayed 2 1, they were going to throw four, five, six bodies forward, which they'd done. And it was just about that next pass. And that's how we got our last two or three chances by them throwing our ring forward. Um, and like I say, very pleased with every single one of them players out there today. Definitely. Uh, so we've got seven notes on, on Tuesday night. Um, 
interesting. I'm not sure we ever played them competitively again. I mean, someone may, may shoot me down on that, but it seems to be, a, you know, I can't remember us ever playing them. So, interesting local derby, and, and you know, we might get a little bit of a crowd along from Seven Oaks. I mean, it, it literally is just up the road, so quite an interesting one, that. Yeah, well, they, they've, they've done well in their first season. Like, Mickey's got some good results over the last few weeks mm -hmm. um, to pick them up. So it's going to be a tough game. Um, we obviously haven't got a lot of bodies to choose from. We've got what we had out there today, mm. plus folks he's coming back into the, the fold. Um, might bring one or two of the under 23s in that we've got signed on. Mm. Um, mm. Disappointing because we've obviously Jack Fenton's out injured still. Yes. Dane's out injured. Yes. Um, yeah. So we can't call upon them. But we'll, we'll give it a good go. You know, It's going to be an interesting game. Mm. It's a cup game. We mm. want to do well in the cups. Mm. Um, so it's going to be a strong side out there. And I'd say it's up to them to keep producing what they've been doing all season. Um, for us to, to get through in that cup, it's going to be one hell of a tough game. Yeah, definitely. Well, we look forward to that, and well done today, Steve, and to the boys. Cheers, really well. Thanks, mate. Thank Thanks. you. Well, uh, well done. That was um, hard earned, and yeah. a very actually enjoyable second half, I thought. Um, yeah, I, I don't think we played as well as we have played, uh, but we weren't good last week and we lost, and we weren't our best today, but we won. So, it's it, the rough of the smooth. And um, yeah, a win's a win. Good, a good win as well after the last two games. Although we were we were harsh done by at Dulwich, we were ter we were terrible last week to a man, and uh, we had to bounce back today and sign a good side. Mm. So another W, another three points keeps us going on to uh, the next one. Well, what sort of conversation took place during the week to, to get the Bishop's Dorfer game out of your your system? Make sure um, I think well, we trained twice. So we trained Tuesday and Thursday, um, two good sessions, um, good competition amongst the squad despite uh, we're light on numbers and the main thing is you don't, you're not a bad side overnight, um, I mean for goodness sake like we played, what is it, eight games in the league, conceded one prior to that Bishop Sorford game, um, it, was a, it was an off day and we put it right today and I think that was the main, the main topic of conversation amongst the boys and the whole squad including the management staff, like we trust ourselves to dig in when we need to and um, let our quality sh shine through. I suppose when you're top of the league you find that teams come down here and will be delighted with a point and that makes them even harder to break down. Yeah, certainly. I mean, we found it last year when you play like the likes of Billericay and Dulwich that were up there and they come here, we took points of them because you, you do naturally raise your game and last week Storford pressed and pressed and pressed us. Um, and so that you put us, they're not a bad side. Um, and so, yeah, teams, we, we spoke about it, Parky's mentioned it, Sonny's mentioned it, and the Gaffer's mentioned it. Like, teams do raise the game when you're at the top, teams want to beat you. Um, you're a target for everyone. Um, everyone wants to say, oh, yeah, we went, put us well, and we went and beat Tombridge Angels. But we've got to be big enough and, and good enough to, to not let that happen. Mm. We, were, we were today. So. After half time, uh, after uh, yeah, nil nil first half, uh, scored straight away, um, yeah. and you, you you won the free kick. Did you yeah, yeah, yeah. Free kick, and then yeah. obviously you, you, you took the free kick, which was <coughs> yeah, prodded in eventually by Parky. Yeah. So uh, yeah, just I think we started about we we spoke about being on the front foot, and right there, right back at a poor touch, and just nipped in front, fouled me, and then Parky, as he's been doing recently, he's, he's so good in the air, and I know he scored with his foot, but he, he was in the right place at the right time, and yeah, just prodded it, prod it at home. Mm. So. Conceded, unfortunately, uh, straight away, um, and yeah. then obviously, let me talk about that, but then obviously came back and a lovely finish from you for the winner. Yeah, I mean, I mean their goal, the, the geese hit three free kicks into the wall, mm. and the volley was, was, a great, was a great strike, and um, I think we just, we just slowed to react. But yeah, no, just for me, I've been trying and trying and trying everything. And I mean, they're five blocked about five of my shots today. I mean, <laughs> yeah. um, in five different positions. About five from his body, yeah. And I just thought, Africa, <laughs> just think, wow, is it ever going to be your day again? And then, um, yeah, just kept going and going and going. And then, yeah, beat them and tucked it away from their post. So yeah, I'm delighted to score, delighted for the three points. Um, I think we, 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 we deserve them today. I think we moved the ball a lot better second half. We had countless chances. That was the only way they were going to break us down. Like he's, he's hit a worldy volley. Um, and I don't think they really had another chance apart from that. Um, so I think, yeah, on the whole of it, we deserved. We could have probably three or four nil, deservedly. 
I don't think they would have complained. I mean, they worked hard, but I think we were a far, far better team on the day. Mm. Now, I think the presentation of the game, I've seen a couple of other times this season, when Jared's come on left-hand side, it meant you've come into the, yeah. the middle of it, just, just playing off the striker. How do you like playing there? Yeah, I love it. I mean, I think we struggled first half to kind of, we were we were passing the movement but we weren't penetrating. Um, so I felt if I like I like going in there because uh, if I can move between a lot of teams play two holding midfielders, so if you can kind of find a pocket of space in between there or spin off the our uh, number nine, whoever it is, um, you can get the ball of Parky and Wits or Stoney if he's in there. Just it allows me I'm central to the goal. So when I turn and try and drive with the ball, I'm going at the goal rather than having to go down inside. Um, but yeah, no, uh, giving, and then give it to the quality that we do have wide when I go inside. We've got Jared, Adam, two very quick boys, skillful boys that can put balls in the box and then I'm actually going towards the goal to try and get on the end of them. And yeah, no, I, I thoroughly enjoy it in there. We've got two, two good passes of the ball and our fullbacks get forward so they give you options when you do turn. So yeah, no, I thoroughly, thoroughly enjoy going in, in behind the main striker. Mm. The other thing I've noticed this season, I don't, I don't know if it's just me, but it seems whenever you've got the ball, two defenders suddenly appear from somewhere, they're up and up on you now. It feels like maybe. that. <laughs> it does feel like that to you. I don't know, I think it's the same when you're, it's just when when you're, you're in the top of the league, like teams work harder against you and yeah, it is, it is tough and I've spoken to the gaffer many times about it. Um, for me, myself, I've just said to myself, you just got to work harder. If they're going to do that to you, just... Get your, get your head down, you can't let it frustrate you. Um, and yeah, so it's a challenge, and um, but one that I'll enjoy. And long may it continue for us at top of the league. I mean, <coughs> after last year, we, do, we deserve, some, deserve some luck and a good run of form, and we're seeing that at the moment. So hopefully, we can string another few wins together. I know we've got a tough, tough league game next week. Hmm. Um, Possibly the hardest yet. You think so? Yeah, I, th I think they're are they second. And they had a good win midweek. Yeah, yeah, so um, yeah, no, but that's why you play football. You play football to play, test yourself, and who better to test yourself than someone who's trying to knock you off top spot? Mm. All right, well, well done today. Thank you very All much. Right. Thank you very much. Right. Well, thank, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.